Hey there, Girl Scouts. Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a fun activity. It's an engineering activity where we are going to um, see how boats actually float and see what kinds of things sink uh, when we are, we're gonna try to make a boat today. So um, some of the things that you're going to need are foil, a bowl that you can put water, a couple of things like cups. I brought a spoon, a scrunchie, um, some index cards, a battery, and a jar full of coins. So for our challenge today, we are going to see some of the items that actually sink and some of them that actually float. And then we're gonna to try to build a boat using those items, okay? Also, don't forget, you're going to need a towel in case you spill some water, so make sure you have one handy. First things first, we're going to fill our bowl with water. All right, so while we wait, um, go ahead and make sure you got all of your other supplies. I got one large piece of oil and then I split it in half. So you don't need too much water, just about that much. And so for our first thing, we're going to see what items actually sink and what items actually float. So let's go ahead and move the camera over, and check out some of these things. So first off, I'm gonna try these little cups. These are like sauce cups. And we're just gonna see if they sink or they float. So, so far it floats. Maybe if I invert it, so put it upside down. It also floats, interesting. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna set that to a side because it's kind of wet. Then we're gonna try our battery. And that went all the way straight to the bottom. So let's go ahead and pull that out. A spoon. So we're going to See that our spoon actually floats, I um, sinks, excuse me, sinks all the way to the bottom, so it's kind of heavy. How about our rubber band, or our hair band? Interesting. Part of it sinks, part of it floats, until it's all submerged in water, and then it just completely sinks to the bottom. And then, you can try our index cards. Now this is gonna be a little bit interesting. So we're gonna to have to wait. So right off after we let go, we notice that it starts to float. But if you can see, let me bring this closer. It's starting to curl up and the paper's starting to get really wet. And you can see in one of these corners, it actually starts to sink. For the most part, it's still pretty on top. Let's see if we add a coin. Interesting. Okay, it's starting to sink a little bit. And there it goes. So it's not a very good boat. So if you were trying to build a boat and trying to raft down a river, it's probably not a good idea to make it out of index cards. Okay, so now we're going to try our foil. And so for this, I'm just gonna scrunch it up into a ball, because it's, it's too long. And so we're just gonna leave it there. And it floats. All right, so part of our items float and part of them sink. And so using that, we're going to try and build a really good boat. And so the challenge is trying to get as many coins as possible into our boat without letting it sink. So let's go ahead and move this up again. So for our boat, I think I'm gonna use a couple of index cards and the foil. Let's see, moving this down a little bit again. So you can see what I'm doing. All right. So in case you're wondering where I am, I'm actually in my bathroom. 
Um, I thought it was a great place to keep all of the stuff for making the rest of my apartment really wet. So, let's see. So what we wanna do is we wanna make this really sturdy so that it doesn't just topple over. Also, it's um, important to know that you can go outside and grab some items from outdoors and see how that works out. You can grab some sticks, some pine cones, um, whatever you find, some leaves. And I'm sure those will probably do a pretty good job as well. So, I'm just making this flat and we'll see how this works out. Okay. I don't have any tape, so this will have to do. So I'm gonna put it in my bowl, and it's actually too big for my bowl. So I'm gonna try to make this smaller by doing this, holding up the edges. Let's see. I think that should be good. Okay. So far, so good. It floats. Hmm. Okay. Now we're going to try and sink it with as many coins as possible. So, I don't have just all pennies, but let's see. We can try to just use pennies or we can uh, do all the coins and then you can just separate them afterwards and see how many of each you were able to hold. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Ooh. Okay, 12 was the max and I started getting some water. Oh, okay. So it's gonna get completely wet. So that wasn't very good. Let's try something different. Maybe if we try to use the foil and some of the plastic cups. So actually my index cards got all wet on the inside. So, I'm going to try this off a little bit. If you get a little tear in your foil, kind of like I did just right now, um, you don't have to use a new piece of foil. All you got to do is fold it just a little bit and cover up that hole with another piece of the foil. So, there is my foil. It's folded so that the hole is covered and it's good as new. All right, so this time I'm only going to use the foil. And I'm going to try to Make it like a little bit of a, a bowl. Let's see if that looks better. Okay, so this is what I have now for my my boat. We'll see if that works better. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more into a bowl that's like deeper. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what I have so far. We're gonna put this in the water and it seems to float really well. So let's go ahead and try some coins again. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 coins. So already we can see that I was able to put more coins in this time than last. So let's see, what was that, 30? So 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, and I'm starting to get a little bit of water in here. Let's see. Yeah. So. Let me move it off a little bit. So if you can see, there's some water. Oh, it's completely sunken. All right. So there you have it. I was able to get 60 coins on my boat before it sunk. <laughs> so I challenge you to go and try this experiment at home, preferably in either the bathroom or the kitchen where you can clean up easily after yourself and see how many coins you are able to hold in your um, in your boat. So with that, I leave you. Uh, have a wonderful day. If you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and subscribe to our channel at Girl Scouts HCC um, for more amazing videos from everybody at Girl Scouts. Awesome. Have a great day, girls. I hope to see you next week.